Hey everyone, I need your attention for one minute. This is not one of those ads. This is something that has changed my entire life. If you've been listening to this podcast, you know that this is all about personal development as the foundation for everything good in your life. And this podcast is now sponsored by Growth Day, which is the world's first all-in-one personal development app. I mean, oh my gosh, can you imagine having everything all in one place that you need to create? create the life that you want, now you can. So if you've been struggling with your motivation, your mood, your productivity, or your purpose, you have to check this out. Growth Day helps you consciously change your life and achieve your potential. It has all the self-improvement tools, motivational classes, and life coaching all in one place. So many of us want to improve our lives, but the question is how? Where do we start? What do we use? How do you get unstuck? How do you make self-improvement stick? Well, research shows how. It's when you consistently journal, track your habits, set goals, learn from empowering mentors, and challenge yourself that you'll be happier, healthier, and more successful. But let me ask you something. Where do you actually do all of your personal development work? I have to tell you that over 300,000 people use Growth Day for a reason. It works. It's the world's number one software for self-improvement. Growth Day has an amazing mindset journal that I absolutely love, a habit tracker, and a goal-setting system. In fact, I bet if you went to my stories this week, you probably saw me using the journaling app and telling you to do it too, because it's the first time that journaling has ever actually stuck consistently in my life because of this app. And best of all, Growth Day has live inspirational classes every single week from the world's top motivational speakers and life coaches. These are people who have impacted my life in huge ways. These are mentors who I already knew and loved. In fact, this is something that's so huge for me, you guys. I personally teach a class in Growth Day every single month, and it is one of the most fun things that I get to do, and I'd love to see you there. These classes will truly shift your life. There's always something new that you will learn. So join me in 300,000 achievers growing our lives with actual real intention. Visit growthday.com slash Lori for a free trial. Yes, you can try this for free. So go to growthday.com slash Lori and go live your best life. You guys, that's growthday.com forward slash Lori. And I can't wait to see you there. So the difference between a millionaire and a billionaire is a millionaire has a great network and makes good introductions. Mm -hmm. A billionaire has a great network, makes good introductions and says, how do I fit into this introduction? And we're back. With another episode of He Said, She Said. And Lori and I were just on a walk. So we're literally back from a walk. I know. Surprise, surprise. And we were talking about, like, how do we keep getting cut in on all these incredible opportunities? And we realized it's because we've done a really good job of, number one, recognizing them and wanting to be a part of them, right? And number two, having something strategic to offer. Number three, planting the seed into somebody who could potentially get it rolling for you where you can be in that zone of genius. Give me an example of that one. Let's think about somebody who maybe already has a company. Maybe it's a company that has products that you're interested in or has the ability to create a product and you have the ability to sell a product, but you don't have the ability to create the product. So really looking at who's already got this thing going or somewhere that I can create something that I want to create where I can go and pitch myself and bring them maybe the part of their business that they are lacking or they're not as strong in. So for me, maybe I would find a company that, let's use Light Pink for an example. Okay. So let's say before I formulated Light Pink, before I decided I was going to do this product myself, what I actually could have done is go to a winemaker or a wine company and say, hey, 
I actually want my own champagne line, but I really just want to white label it because I don't want to do all of the work. I don't want to do the formulation. I don't want to do the bottling. I don't want to even really think about that part. I don't want to do all of the selling myself. I want someone who has some sales experience or has someone to sell to. But I then am going to show them my capabilities of, hey, I've got this huge podcast that I would love to plug this product into. It's a product market fit for my people just saying if they already all love champagne or maybe I'm already always talking about champagne. And I say, I also have access to these other celebrities that I know that I could pitch this product to or that I know could help me share it. Just really talking about what is your zone of genius? What do you have that maybe you could offer to someone or something that is already in existence? So you would recognize a startup like yours, Mm -hmm. right? In its infancy, uh, or maybe when it's just an ideation, you would have went to that person and said, hey, amazing that you're doing this. I think I can help. I can lend X, Y, and Z. Yes. And that's how you'd get your piece of the action. Mm-hmm. Here's another example. So uh, recently, a, a good friend of mine came to me and said, hey, I built this gaming team in the Philippines that plays games in the metaverse, and they earn money for playing them. And guys, I know this sounds crazy, but this is an entirely new phenomena. It's called play to earn. And you can literally, just by playing, you don't have to be good, you don't have to, nothing. Just by playing the game, you earn cryptocurrency that converts to real U.S. dollar currency. Now, the reason why he built a team in the Philippines is because if they own a few dollars a day playing, Mm -hmm. it actually adds up to a really significant side income for Mm -hmm. them, right? Puts extra food on the table, pays rent, that kind of thing. So he built a gaming team over there, and he realized, wow, this thing would scale. And he wanted to raise money for it. He knew nothing about raising money. So he came to me and said, hey, you know, here's what I built. Look at the results. This is really incredible. No, anyone that could help me put together a fund and raise money. Here's where I recognized my value and, once again, the opportunity. I said, not only do I know somebody, but I can help you raise that money. I'll make the introduction. But let's see how big we can make this thing. And we ended up introducing him to the other person. Mm. And the three of us are now one-third owners of this fund that is building a 4,000-person gaming team in the Philippines. It's going to be a massive financial windfall, a massive opportunity. Now, I know nothing about gaming in the metaverse. I know nothing about hiring and, and working with people in the Philippines. I just recognized the opportunity when somebody came asking. Yeah, that's incredible. And, you know, the crazy part is, is people would listen to this and be like, Yeah, well, that's because you have this connection or that connection. And yes, that is partially true that we have worked really, really hard to make connections. But even with that, I just want to say it's recognizing it and not just recognizing it. It's taking that moment. There's an actual moment in the conversation where you could have been like, yeah, I can help you and point you in the direction. But instead, it's starting to think as if every single thing that comes your way is a possible opportunity for you to insert what you are good at. And part of me, as I'm saying this, like really believes that that opportunity is coming to you or someone is asking you to connect them to someone because you are meant to be a part of it. And, you know, with the gaming thing, it was like, you could have just passed him on to someone. But in that split second, because of how your brain now, not just how you normally think, because you know what? We're actually choosing to look at everything as an opportunity. In that moment, you chose to quickly go, okay, how could I help? Where could I quickly just say, hey, stupid idea time. Maybe I can actually not only point you in the right direction, but I can really see where I could add huge value. What you're referring to is is a quote that I heard a long time ago, and it really stuck with me. And this is why you and I have pieces of so many companies, aside from the ones that we've invested in, is a while back, I remember I was on a walk in Santa Monica. I heard it like on a podcast. And the guy said this. He said, the difference between a millionaire and a billionaire, and this guy on the podcast was a billionaire, said the difference between a a millionaire and a billionaire is a millionaire has a great network and makes good introductions. Mm -hmm. A billionaire has a great network, makes good introductions and says, how do I fit into this introduction? And that stuck with me forever. Mm -hmm. How do I get a piece of the action on every single thing that comes my way? And you said it best. Number one, you got to recognize the opportunity. You got to train your brain to recognize opportunity. Number two, stop making introductions for free. Start saying, wait, wait, wait. I can add value here. Let me play along too. Here's what I can add. I'll give you more than an introduction. I'll give you X, Y, and Z. And that's how you end up with these small slices 
of several successful things. You know, you could do this with anything. So you don't have to be somebody who's out in the world yet in the way that Chris and I are and inserting yourself in a business. Maybe you're like, well, I'm just not there yet. You have your version of this. So let's say that you have a friend right now who you guys are doing similar things and you're launching e-courses and they're like, hey, you know, you've got such a great audience. Do you mind just doing me a favor and sharing this? Of course you're going to do that. But could you also say, I would love to do this and I want to put some serious sales power behind it. I want to give a little bit of my time and and sales effort to this. Would you be willing to give me an affiliate link and work out a percentage that feels good for both of you and say, you know, if I have an affiliate link, I would love to be able to dedicate time to this because in order for you, of course, friends are going to do things for friends. You're going to share something. So a friend, typically on a friend to friend basis, I would say, yep, I'll share it. I'll put it in my stories. Maybe I'll mail for you. Would you rather have that for free? Or would you rather have a friend that you motivate by saying, I am going to give you a percentage of this or ask for a percentage of something and say, if we set up an affiliate link, like, hey, I'm happy to do the one mailing for free and I'm happy to do the story and the post for free. But if I can actually take some of my time knowing that I will get some money from it, then I can really put some power behind it. I can, you know, continue to mail for you for a few weeks. I can do a few stories on this. I can do some social posts. I can talk about it on my podcast. I can continue to keep the conversation going. That one feels a way bigger win-win than just like, yeah, you know what, I'll, I'll share and do the friend thing. So where can you work yourself into not only a bigger win for them, but a win for you? Yeah, I love that. So guys, I hope if you take anything away from this, it's not excuses saying, well, I'm not where you're at. I hope it's that the same way that podcast resonated with me a long time ago and I started getting slices of a lot of pies. I hope this resonates with you and changes your way of thinking so that, number one, you become an opportunity recognizing machine. And number two, you actually start to build the muscles right now, the skill sets, the network, whatever it is you want to build so that you can play an important role in every opportunity that you start to recognize. We're so grateful for you guys. And remember to text... Yes, our charity dinner. Thank you to all of you who have texted already. Remember, we're doing a incredible charity dinner with our dear friends, Lindsay and Elliot, to help raise funds for leukemia research. It's going to be an incredible high-end dinner, very intimate. It's one of the best ways to increase your network because there's only going to be successful people at this dinner. It's $15,000 for a couple. And if you want to be considered to come to this dinner, by the way, every single penny of that goes to the research. We're paying for the dinner and the experience out of our own pocket. So every penny of it goes to the research, to the charity. And if you want to be considered to be a part of that, text the word dinner to 310-421-0416. It's going to be here in Arizona. Again, text the word dinner to 310-421-0416. It's going to be an incredible night. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Always love and appreciate you. Thanks for listening to the podcast. And I want to make sure that you have my phone number and I'm not kidding. Did you know that I have a community text number for real? My phone number is 310-496-8363. This goes directly to my phone. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363. And I literally text you every single day, Monday through Friday, I actually just got done 30 seconds ago texting a bunch of people back and I talk to you all of the time. You guys, people always ask me how I got my community text number and how it works. Well, all you have to do is you can just go to community.com and get your own. Community makes it easy to get a phone number that you can use to build your audience using text. People just text you at your number and they're added to your group. 
then you can text them out audios, video links, anything you want. You guys, I text out happy birthday videos. I love to send podcast links, thoughts about life, book recommendations, uh, different events that I'm doing in the local area. Texting gets me out of the noise of social media and directly into your hand. And now you can start texting your people too. Just go to community.com to get your phone number. They give you a 10 digit real phone number, not those weird short codes that look like spam, but it's more than a phone number. Your new number comes with an inbox for SMS and texting. This means you can actually manage your text list from your computer and an app on your phone. You can schedule texts to send at certain times and to certain groups. You can even set up auto replies or let your assistant or customer service team answer your text messages via community's awesome dashboard. Just go to community.com and ask for a free demo. They'll show you how it works and get you your number. It's time to start texting your audience versus just posting on social media. Everyone uses community for that. So go check them out at community.com. I can tell you it's not just great for communicating with my audience, but Chris and I use community and our texts to also sell out our launches. I'm telling you, you get such an incredible response because you really are creating a true deep sense of community and it's so intimate. It's freaking amazing. Go check it out at community.com. Want to know a huge secret to my success? Okay, not only my success, but just about every single person that I have interviewed on this podcast who is successful has this in common. You guys, they love to journal. They capture their life lessons and what they're grateful for. But a lot of people don't keep this up consistently. And most people do know that the research shows that journaling deepens your gratitude and increases self-awareness. But did you also know that journaling decreases stress and helps you achieve your goals faster? In fact, journaling is a huge differentiator between average performers at work and high performing people. It leads to longer term clarity, confidence, and success. So why don't more people journal? Why didn't I journal consistently? Honestly, they don't like staring at a blank page. It's hard to carry a book around with you or a notepad, and they just don't even know what to write about, or they just forget. That's why I know that you're going to love Growth Day. It's the world's number one system for self-improvement, and it's like all-in-one personal development in an app. And it has an awesome digital journal, and people love it. Growth Day's digital journal has hundreds of research-backed writing prompts for self-reflection, positive mindset, confidence building, and success. I use them all the time, and it makes me think in ways that I typically don't, and it makes me ask myself better questions, which we all know gets better results in our life. It even has prompts that help you develop a daily, weekly, or monthly habit of reflecting on your life and identifying areas to grow. So it's a perfect time of year to start journaling, you guys. When you sign up at Growth Day, you also get systems for habit tracking, goal setting, and scoring and improving every area of your life. Best of all, I get to teach there too, you guys. I'm so excited. I hope that I get to see you. I teach live in Growth Day every single month with a new topic just for you. So join me there. Start your free trial at growthdate.com slash Lori. Hey, I know if you're listening to this podcast that you have big dreams and big goals. And one of the things that can really stop you is struggling with your marketing. Trust me, I have been there. Are you using 10 different systems just to build your online business? Then I want you to try Kajabi. Kajabi helps you build your web pages, set up funnels, and sell your courses, content, coaching, or communities. You've been hearing me talk a lot about funnels on this podcast and the importance of your email list. You can get a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com. I've talked about Kajabi before, but here's something that's super cool and new. They just rolled out an AI assistant for creating your online course curriculum. And this means you just type in a topic that you wanna create on a course or webinar and bam, it just generates a sample outline for you. It takes a ton of the hard work away. Of course, you're gonna customize it to be your own, but this really helps you get over the struggle of how in the world to start 
which is where most people stop. If you're like me, starting is always the hardest part and that's what makes Kajabi so popular. They've made it easier for creators to build web pages, build courses, build coaching programs, build membership sites, build checkout pages, and build email funnels. So if you're struggling with any of those, you gotta go check it out. Go to kajabi.com. Kajabi was really the first all-in-one system and is trusted by over 100,000 creators. I think that's good enough for me. Also as influencers and marketers who use this. And now their smart AI platform makes it easy to take what you know and turn it into an online course and business. Go start building with a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com.